Hello. Uh, I would probably rather be in a car because it's loud. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Okay. Hasn't helped. Right, I'm just going to rip the band aid off here. Oh. And, uh, I just. You know, I was, um. I've been on the fence for a while <laughs> about leaving and um and it was getting better you know and I was I was thinking to myself that yo maybe maybe I could stay you know maybe help things get better but I think today kind of made me realize that like <laughs> that shit ain't gonna happen When, when you say it was getting better, like what? Like what do you mean? I was um finally starting to be happy, but I think today kind of made me realize that like my happiness isn't here. You know, it's, uh, it hasn't been for a bit, but I still did everything that I, like everything that I ever did for everybody was always for the game. Right? Yeah. Even if anybody asked me for every single penny, you know, from my bank account, I'd give it to them, you know? Anything. But I think I finally realized that I need to think about me. I mean, I think. I think I've even said that to you a while back. You need to put yeah. yourself first sometimes. Yeah. I kind of have a problem with doing that, but uh, I'm going I'm to be honest, man. Putting yourself first kind of feels a little bit weird to me. It feels like I'm doing something wrong. Yeah. This is a tough one for me, Saint. I'm not gonna lie. As uh, as much as I'm aware, people will come and go from this gang. Uh, you leaving is a tough one because I actually said it earlier. To a few of the boys, uh, I wouldn't be where I was today if it wasn't for you. You were the only member of the mandem that had my back back when things weren't going for me so what's going on different paths is going to be tough yeah yeah it is pretty tough but I guess it's one of those things where I've like I said I've done everything up until now until this this decision for everybody else i i've done everything for other people but everybody before myself and yeah i wish my happiness was here i do and i've tried to i've tried to you know outweigh my decision you know what i mean but, I just, like I said, my happiness is not here anymore. And it's not anything that you did or anybody did. It's just, I'm just not happy anymore. Yeah. I wish your happiness was here. 
but I get it. It's a, yeah, it's a tough pill, it's a tough pill to swallow, but we've, uh, we've always let people walk away if that's what they wanted. I know Terry today was a whole different thing, but Terry's situation was unique, I think. I know some people are going to feel a type of way about this in the gang, it's how they'll be. I know they will. Um, I wouldn't hold it against them if they do feel a lot type of way. I mean, because I've always said that if people wanted to leave, they leave, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's a, it is surprising, to be honest, because I know you've been very strong on the, you know, if people, if people even think about leaving, then they're gone thing in the past sure. you know but i even was surprised my own self by like i said i think i finally realized i needed to put myself first yeah i just but it just sucks because it feels like i like i'm i'm letting letting people down you know I mean, I, I think people will naturally think that there's some people that are so loyal to this gang that they couldn't imagine life without it, even. Um, but I hope it's the right decision for you, and I hope you do find that happiness elsewhere. And then I hope when people see that you found that happiness, they'll understand it a bit better. Was there, was there anything that could have changed that would have maybe swayed your opinion? I'll be honest. I mean, I I take full responsibility and saying that it's, it is it is my fault for maybe not being as assertive. But it's really hard to. Uh, I'm the kind of person that's. Sin. Sparky offered me the three, three, the, what is that called? Three IC. Yeah, three IC. Yeah. And I was, I was all for it. Then, but then maybe there was been like some voices or some, some kind of, you know, maybe people making me feel like I don't deserve that goal. And I let it get to me. That was my downfall. Because I let it get to me. And so I didn't push for it. Yeah. I said in my mind, no, there's somebody else that's probably be better for it. And I didn't push myself to do it. Yeah. But then, you know, when it comes to comes to things like jobs or whatever, I, I, I give up my spot for other people. Maybe that's that's also my downfall. Because I want other people to, to, to have their, you know, have their time to do stuff you know yeah that's on me that's mm -hmm. because i just i guess like i said it's nothing that anybody's done it's just i was my own downfall you know and now we're 30 people deep in the game and I'm mm. lost as f you know? You can take three numbers away from that now. Yeah. What a f up day. I just wanna let you know, um, listen. After I saw Kylie get gunned down by like, I just, just, 
just like herself, you know? Mm -hmm. I did give her a gun, but I made her promise me to only use it for defensive purposes. <sighs> but do you think she's actually going to listen to that, though? I don't know. I made her promise me that it was only going to be for defensive purposes. But she is her own person. But... Yeah, I don't think so. She do kind of be on smoke sometimes, though. But if you wanted to know, I wasn't trying to like listen the one on one that I was trying to like get you to have with her because she wanted said that she wanted to. And Tati and I were trying to get her to do the one on one. I hope you know that I would have made sure that she didn't have a gun. Because we all kind of know how kind of crazy she is. She's kind of psycho. Yeah. Well, at least we talked her down from it a little bit, I think. But, yeah, that's that. Well, at least I know now she will be armed in that discussion. Yeah, well, you know, if maybe we would have had, if we, we could have put a plan in, you know, I could have taken the gun from her and then, you know, put her in her fucking place. Listen, only I can put her in her place, really, to be fair. She's my dommy mommy. I don't need to know that, to be honest. Listen. She's your dot. Is wouldn't that mean she puts you in your place? Is that not how that dynamic no. works? No. So you're her it's dummy her, mommy. It's, well, no, te no, because she has a dummy mommy voice. Listen, I could listen to her threaten me all day. That's crazy. Wish she would, honestly. You're lucky. Especially with the accent, bro. Sorry. That's off topic. Anyway. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. But stuff like you're probably gonna have a gun. But if you tell me whenever you're gonna have the one if you are gonna have the one on one with her, I can probably get the gun back from her. Okay. But I'm off to go find Saint Gomez, bro. Bring back bring back Gomez then. <laughs> Gomez Dem was always degraded. It was. I'll see you around, Saint. It's not wrong. Saint Martin could never be Saint Gomez.
Bro! Okay, can't throw them. Good to know. Okay. Okay, relax, relax, relax. All of this, right? All of this. Why is that so quiet? Hang on. All of today. Start over this. What the f happened? That's over. A pussy Danny and a Jimmy. You're a pussy, Danny, and a Jimmy, and three people just got shot for a pussy, Danny, and a f Jimmy. In the corner. Three people of the manor have just been shot over a pussy, Danny, and a Jimmy. Who the f is Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake, man. <sighs> Anyone on radio still? Sir. Uh, Saint has left the gang. I'm not sad. <laughs> 